What's up guys, this is Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys the grep command. Now as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to go on and show you guys how to use the grep command. And I've done plenty of videos where I've actually used the command. So today is that day I show you guys grep and give a few examples on how to actually use it. This command is important to know, especially if you're trying to get in and be a systems admin or you're trying to get into cybersecurity. Uh, a lot of systems admins use this command when they're troubleshooting problem software on a system. And then cybersecurity professionals, they typically use it, you know, when they're researching security incidents. It could be a hack or something. They're researching log files or researching different applications just to figure out how the hack actually happened, as well as so they could pro provide that to supervisors or whoever, because they really want to know you know exactly how these people hacked into your network and what are the things that we could do to prevent it in the future so it's a good command to know if you're getting into those type of fields so just to explain grep it stands for a global regular expression print it's a powerful tool for matching uh regular expressions against text in a file or multiple files. And the way it works is it searches for patterns of text that you specify in the commands that you put. So enough talk about it. Let me go on in and bring up the terminal and show you guys how to actually use it. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I already have my terminal up uh, and I went in on and opened up the man page for grep. Uh, all you have to do is type man and then grep and it'll bring up the man page with all the information on how to actually use the command. So if we read up here at the top, you know, it says name, grep, uh, egrep, fgrep, uh, prints lines that match patterns. Uh, this is the synopsis, grep, options, you know, the pattern, and then the file. And they have, you know, a couple flags that I'll show you guys when I do a few of the demonstrations a little bit later. But grep searches for patterns in each file. Pattern is one or more patterns separated by new line characters and grep prints each line that matches a pattern. Typically patterns should be quoted when grep is used in a shell command. So it's best to have the quotes around the text, but I typically don't have to do it because most of the time I'm looking for a specific line. And if it's no spaces within the two words or a word, one word that you're looking for, you don't have to use the quotes, but you can use it if you're uh, looking for like one, more than one word within a line, like let's say network and then config, those two words are right next to each other with a space in between, then you wanna use those quotes. So just wanted to give you an idea of that. And then here are a few of the options. You can actually go, obviously go to the dash dash help, uh, which prints out this man page pretty much. Uh, the version, you can look at the version. And then they have a, a slew of flags that you can you know, go through and use. And I'm not going to go through that many of them. I'm going to do this video as if you're new to Linux. So I won't overwhelm you with a bunch of flags. I'll just show you the most important one so you can get a handle on it. And then you can go through this man page and look at a lot of the other flags that are here. And that'll help you advance your skills while using grep. So let's quit this right fast by pressing Q. Boom. And let's clear the terminal right fast. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is show you guys the actual files that we'll be working with while using the grep command. And so let me ls this test directory that I'm working with. And I created a test file that I'll be using to actually search uh, while using a uh, grep. And I also created a directory with another file within it. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that a little later. But let's go down and nano that file, that grep file, so you guys can see exactly what's in it and what I'm gonna be searching. And I'm gonna really just use one word out of it because it'll it'll give you a good example of how to actually use it. So grep test, press enter. And as you can see, I have a couple, you know, words in it as well as numbers, uh, different cases, and all that good stuff. So let's go down and close it. 
So let's go down and clear it right fast, but I'm going to show you guys how to run a command, you know, without any flags. So it's basically grep and then the text that you're looking for. So I'm going to use test as the word that we want to search for and then the actual file. And I'm going to put out the full path so you guys can, you know, just kind of see exactly what I'm doing and grep test and press enter. And as you can see, it pulls two lines. It looks for this pattern of test of text. Uh, so test, and as you can see, and this is why I put uh, testing in there as well. So it will show you that no matter what the word is, if it has those characters in that order, then it's going to pull it. It's going to find it and display it on the screen. Now, let me add one option to it. And this is one of the main options that I use on every single command, no matter what it is. I always like to see things in color because... It just looks better when you're actually finding the data. It's it's easier to find, especially when you're looking through a long list of, of data. If you use this option, you know, it'll help you find things quicker. So as you can see, it kind of changes the color and highlights the color of that actual text that we're searching for. So test is red in this case, and it prints out both of those lines just the same. Now I'm going to build upon this command that we actually ran just to show you the other options. So I'll use the color that way it shows up good on the screen for you guys. So you guys can see in every command thus forward, and I'll just be adding different options to it. So you guys can understand how it actually works. So the next option I want to add is the dash in. Now this is one option option I've used in the past when I'm searching for certain things. Um, but when you put dash in in there, it'll actually specify the line that the text is on. So let's say it's a, you know, a thousand line file that you're searching or some code that you're searching with, searching with like a thousand lines in it or whatever. This will help you find the specific text that you're looking for. So let's press enter on that and this will show you the line number. So this is on line five and this is on line 10. So that's one good flag that'll help you when looking at large files. So, so I just wanted you guys to see that. Now, by default, grep actually looks for text uh, case sensitive. So however you type it, that's what it's looking for. So if I was to type this in all caps, then it wouldn't pull these lines at all. So let's say you want to make it case insensitive. This is a great flag for you to use. So let me go in here and, and run it show you guys and I'm gonna actually type test like that and then it's the I flag which stands for you know case insensitive so if we press enter on that that still pulls that text that we were looking for so and just to show you example another example I had some some letters in there I think it was ABC lowercase and ABC uppercase so let me try that right fast. So let's go A, B, C and press enter. As you can see, it pulls those lines no matter what the case is for those lines. So that's a good example of how to look, look for a case insensitive. So it doesn't matter what case it is, you know, it'll pull those lines. Okay, and the next flag I wanna show you guys is actually the dash W flag. Now, if we look up here at the top um, and this will not at the top, but on this line right here. You see how it pulled test um, from testing as well? Well, you can exclude that by using the dash W and it'll look for this whole word versus, you know, part of a word having the same text. So I wanna show you guys on the test word again, but this will show you that it excludes anything that's not the whole word. So testing will be excluded when I run this command. So let's uh, up this again, run this command. We're going to use test again. And then let's use the W flag like I stated. And if we press enter, you'll see that it only pulls that line. So that's a way of excluding, you know, words that may be part of a bigger word. Like if you know whatever line you're looking for has that specific word this is the whole word that you're looking for then you want to use that w flag and that way it excludes anything that may it may be a part of a bigger word it excludes it okay so let me clear this right fast because i want to show you guys how to recursively search for text within multiple files 
And when I say recursive, it means it looks at all the subdirectories within a file. That's why I created that other directory. So let me show you guys that again so you guys can remember. But I created this subdirectory in here and it has that basically the same file within this subdirectory. But I want to show you guys how to search recursively. And that's that's why I created that folder. And also, I want to look for some two word text. So test out. I know that's part of that sentence. And I'm going to put it in quotes. That way you guys can see that the quotes, you know, work and everything as well as that rec recursive. So if we use the dash or flag and press enter and actually I'm going to take off the actual file that we're looking for. That way it looks through all the files within this directory recursively. So it'll go down to that subdirectory. So if we press enter, you'll see it lists out the actual files where the text is located. So this is the one at the top level, you know, grep test that we've been using. And then within that subdirectory, we have a grep test as well. And it pulls that same string of text that we were looking for. So test out. Okay, and lastly, I wanna show you guys how to actually do an inverted search. And this uses the dash V option. And this will allow you to search for text that's not what you specify in the command. So like how we use test out, it will show you every line that doesn't have test out in it. So let's go here back to this grep text test folder. And actually I'm in the wrong directory. So grep test is the file we wanna use. And we want to look for each line that doesn't have test out on it. So it's an inverted search. So it'll pull every line except the lines that have test out. And so that color, actually the color won't work because we're not looking for anything. It's just gonna, just gonna highlight everything from what I remember. So we press enter. It's basically gonna print out everything, every line except the one that has test out in it. So that's a cool way of doing like an inverted search using the grep command. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I wanted to keep it simple, show you guys the basics so you guys can get an understanding of how to actually use grep, you know, and you can check out the man page, you know, and read on how to use grep. There are a lot of tutorials out there on grep. It's a great command to actually learn. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And of course, keep it techie.